Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, J Ross, back with another video. I know you guys are probably like, didn't she already release like two or three videos this week? That may be so, okay? That may be so because I feel like it's been forever since I've been consistent with my videos and, and I don't want y'all to miss me too much. So therefore, I'm getting these videos out like hotcakes, okay? I'm getting these videos out like Girl Scout cookies when they come out. They just be, they here and then they gone, okay? I, that's, I want these videos here, but I don't want them to leave though. So I guess that was a bad analogy. But anyways, that's not the point. As you guys can tell by the title, I don't know why I just shot y'all. You know what, let's just, let's just start over. As you guys can tell by the title down below, I'm continuing my haul series and very few things that I've personally bought. And if I bought them, it's because I had to return some other things, but because it was too late, I just had score credit, but that's neither here nor there. All I know is I still have so much stuff that I need to unbox. So that's what I'm gonna do today. So I unboxed this already for IG but i'm going to unbox this in front of you guys this is going to be the july um regular boxy charm box this is what this looks like boxy charm really doesn't do anything specific when it comes to like the actual boxes like nothing is really extravagant on the actual boxes compared to like ipsy fantasy which is the theme for july dermalek Outcrease Retinol Trifecta Serum. This is the Bella Pierre Liquid Eyeliner in the shade Black. Then you have this Mud Masky Vitamin Infused Eye Serum. Reduces dark circles, moisture boost, vitamin boost, feeding, nourishing, and firming, fragrance free. And then next up we have this Ali Oop Pen Pal 4-in-1 Makeup Pen in the shade Make A Mom. It has an eyeliner in black, which I think is this side. And then you have a highlighter in champagne, which is of course this little side right there. You have a lip pencil in the shade mauve, which is this shade right here over there. Brow pencil in the shade coffee brown, which is this last one right here. And last but not least, we have this Ofra Good To Go Mini Mix Palette. Shades that could be used for your eyes, um, bronzer, cheeks, and I guess for blush and highlight um, can be used wet or dry. This is, will be my first time trying something from Ofra. So I'm pretty excited and I don't see a bronzer for me, but I definitely see some highlights and some blushes and some eyeshadow. So that's what that would be. And thank you BoxyCharm for this. I did get on the list or whatever to do the premium July box. Now, why couldn't that be on the outside? Why? I, I don't see why I couldn't be on the outside. Y'all y'all selfish. So for my last haul video from my Sephora, I picked up the volume two box because I love me some blues. And then when I saw this premium box come out, it was like, oh, what do you want? Which palette do you want? I want the orange one because that was like my second favorite option out of the three. And these are the colors. These are the colors. Basically summer ready. We are summer ready with this palette for sure and these are definitely shades i can see me wearing because i love me some greens i love me some oranges i feel like those colors just pop really well on my skin along with the blue so i'm happy abh false lashes in the shade not the shade in the style lengthy that's what these are the loose setting powder in the shade golden orange First of all, this box alone screams J. So don't like the shade, this box will still look beautiful. First of all, this container is super, super huge. Super huge. I love that already. That's what the shade looks like, which is usually a good um, under eye or all over face powder setting shade. <laughs> under eye or all over setting powder shade for me. So I'm really happy with that. We'll see how it actually works on my face. The Anastasia Brow Definer Triangle Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. Thank you, baby Jesus. They picked the right shade for me. This is the Loose Highlighter in the shade Peach Fizz. A few moments later. This packaging is so cute. Mind you, you guys are probably like, Jay, all of this stuff is like super old and it's been released. Let me have my moment, okay? I'm not taking that off. But this is the shade, just in case I gave it to one of you guys. We have the Dewy Set Setting Spray. First of all, I just love this bottle. Can I just keep, the, can I take this top off and like fill it with something else? Ooh, oh, it locks. 
that's very smart. I like the locking techniques, which I have seen this on some foundations, not Anastasia's foundations, but I have seen like the lock technique on, on foundations. And I think they should put that on more, like all foundations should have a lock, even if they have a top, because the top can come off but I feel like the lock will be like an extra security. Next up, we have another box and I'm saying another box because it's from Influencer and I'm pretty sure I had like three or four Influencer boxes in my last haul video. So <laughs> Influencer keeps sending me stuff and I'm not mad at it. I'm really not mad at it. So like I said, if you wanna receive free items, even though I haven't opened this yet, this is not sponsored by Influencer. If you wanna receive free items, please check your girl's referral link in the comment down below. You do not have to pay for anything. There's no subscription fee or anything like that. There's just one you. Congratulations on making our list of handpicked influencers to receive this Vox box. Aw, thank you. I feel so special. I really do. And what we have is the barely or completely bare hair removal experts. Don't grow there body moisturizer and hair inhibitor. Next up, we have this milk makeup sunshine oil i don't know if i've ever seen these in store i mean i've seen milk in store but i don't know if i've ever seen this in store so i wonder if this is like new like brand new i'm cool with that clarence paris 08 lip comfort oil shimmer in the shade 08 burgundy Ooh. That was so extra, but like this seriously is a pretty shade. Okay, I gotta swatch it. Ooh, that is pretty. So next up, we have this box from Unicorn Cosmetic. First set of the Angel Lashes, and these are Apple. You guys can probably see what they look like. You can see. So that's what the lashes look like. This is, once again, the style Apple. Next up, we have Lemon Meringue, and that's what this style looks like. So this is the Lemon Meringue Lashes. I was super excited about this packaging because it's kind of like the rose gold pink theme that I always go for on top of it being like adorable angels, which I really love. And then this is the reason why I have been excited the most. This is the Angel Vegan Brush Set. And can we just talk about this beautiful cup? I absolutely love this cup. So this is what the cup looks like. On the top it says, Unicorn Cosmetics, on the bottom it says their information. And then look at these beautiful, very well made brushes. Let me take it out of the bag, at least one of them. Look at that. You have the cherubs on the brushes, but look at the ferrule of it. Do y'all see that? Look at that, look how beautiful that is. And then it also has the name of the brush style on the side so i think this one is uc 17 unicorn cosmetic 17 which i'm thinking is like a shader brush i did ask them i was like oh i really want these brushes but i'm scared that if i ever use them that white will never be white again and they were like oh if you use whatever you know how companies are always saying if you use our stuff then it will go back to white so that's what i purchased not part of the angel collection but i purchased because it was on sale as well as it was said that it should work and they placed a little video of the brushes going back to white or whatever. Um, so it is what it is and that's what it looks like. So this is the hand mirror, the angel mirror, which would definitely be helping me soon when I get back on my looks again or whatever. And then it says the UC on the front. I'm just covering up the mirror part so it doesn't blind you guys. Next up, we have this angelic pigment. I think that's the name of the shade. I think it's called Angelic Pigment. So that is this. It is this like sea foam green turquoise type shade, which I'm not opening right now because I don't want it all over the place, but it is a very pretty shade. And last but not least, we have the Angel Eyeshadow Palette. So that's what the box looks like. Very beautiful. I don't know. It was just something about this collection that really stood out to me. Um, I'm not a huge unicorn person, so their unicorn collection didn't get me. The Wicked collection, I thought was pretty cool, but it was always sold out when I wanted to get it. So this is what it looks like when you take it out of the box. You get a completely different design. I love this, I love this. And then you get the back description. Um, this is Mel Blue, which is the female creator. She has like her little caricature animated 
self on, well you say half, like the bigger one, she always has her face on. It's throughout the website, stuff like that. So she's definitely making sure you know who she is. And then this is the inside of the eyeshadow palette. There you have it. When I do the review video for this palette, I will get more into the formula and stuff like that of that. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like if you have not seen it. So this is July's Ipsy bag, which I haven't really gotten Ipsy in the past like three, four months. So this theme was Stay Golden, which basically around the Olympics, Stay Golden, Be Golden, Gold Medals, Team USA Gold, you know, all that stuff. So um, the first item we have is the Artist Couture Silky Lip Oil in the shade Delicious Silky Lips. Okay. So this is what that color is, kind of like a Barbie pink color. This is the Perlis Blush Glow BB Cheek Color. Vivid Coral, so that's this shade. It's a cream blush, which I usually don't use cream blushes, so this would be probably given to somebody. Wonder Beauty Baggage Claim Gold Eye Mask. I'm all for that, six pairs of golden eye masks. Next up we have this Juice Beauty, the Organic Solution SPF 30 Oil Free Moisturizer. And then last but not least, I have this Define Purpose Eyeshadow Palette, limited edition. Can we just talk about the packaging though? Can we just talk about the packaging? It's blue and yellow. It's packaging, at least from the box that I like so far. Ooh. This shade Goddess in Training is like calling me. We already know passion it's calling me, but Goddess in Training? Okay. Like I said in one of the haul videos, some of this stuff was purchased literally as soon as No Buy April was done. So probably like the first or first couple days of May. And then I've just been going through so much that I haven't had time to open it. And I don't remember what I bought. So. It is what it is. And like I said, if I don't like any of this stuff, it's sad because I probably had it since May and I can't return it except to get more store credit, which means I'm most likely just gonna have another haul of just store credit boss stuff. <laughs> the Revolution Dual Brow Definer in the shade Dark Brown. I live for this. Oh, I forgot I bought this. This is the Morphe 35D Desert Bouquet Eyeshadow Palette. I'm already, I'm, I'm literally disappointing myself. I'm like, Jay, you doing too much. So, yay. <laughs> what else did I buy that I don't remember? <gasps> I bought these? <laughs> I'm so serious. This is the Liquid Lingerie Double XL. I pretty much probably have already talked about this. This is in the shade Low Cut. I think I actually remember buying another one though. Give me a second. Oh, here's the other one. And this is in the shade Undressed. So these are these two shades, which I have not tried yet, clearly. But I am really excited to try them because for those of you who have watched my lip collection declutter video, I lived for the original liquid lingeries as well as the liquid suede, all of them. I live for NYX lip products. I really do. Butter glosses are my life. All of that. This is the Precise Brow Pencil, also from Revolution in the shade Dark Brown. These are very good when it comes to drugstore, but I need to stop buying stuff from Makeup Revolution and um, we should already know why. We should already know why. But if you don't know why, I'll probably talk about it sooner or later one day. Stop mistreating Tammy. That's all I have to say for right now. This is the Pure Pressed Mineral Makeup Broad Spectrum SPF 15, four in one in the shade deeper. What is this? Oh, it's a powder foundation compact. I didn't know what the, I'm, I swear to y'all, I didn't know what this was. Judge me all you want, but I have time, I don't know why I buy some stuff, so. Okay, here's the sad thing, I already have one of these. See, this is, I told you I'll be buying backups because I love these things so much. But that's just, that's a shame. That is a shame. I'm pretty sure I showed this on my Instagram already, but these are some other items that I got from Ulta. There is this 8D Deep Glam Complexion Pro Face Palette from Morphe. If I open this on Instagram already, then I'm pretty sure I've already, I know, actually I may not have expressed how I felt about it, but I'm pretty sure I have opened this before because I wanted to see how deep this face palette was. And let me tell y'all, Morphe might've did that. This is really deep and really pretty. I have not swatched them yet, but 
these shades look really deep so these two well this one is the bronzer this one is the contour this one's another bronzer then you have a brightener so like an under eye setting powder you have a blush another blush a highlighter and a highlighter and i think these shades would be really deep and i cannot wait to try them on my skin but just from the looks of them alone they look really deep and they have some depth and it's items that i'm not afraid to say i'm glad they made the separate palettes because i think this is the darkest palette and then i think they might have three or four more also i picked up the pure four in one tinted moisturizer in the shade dn4 oh it's probably making sense to me now i wanted to try another tinted moisturizer and then i probably was like if it was too dewy i was just gonna set it with the pure four in one powder foundation okay that makes a little bit more sense to me now it, it, it's semi adding up next up i got the infallible fresh wear 24 hour foundation in a powder i'm pretty sure this has been talked about by many people but because I really love the Infallible Long Wear Foundation in general, which I actually picked up again because I don't know what happened to the bottle that I did have, but it's also been a while since I've had it. I think I bought it when it first came out, so it might be expired or it might be gone. But anyways, I don't know what happened to it. So I picked them up and I was like, I might as well try the powder as well. Also, I picked up this Real Techniques Brush and Sponge Cleaning Gel Rose Primer Prep and hydrate lightweight base this is from milani so i did get the elf putty bronzer this is the shade sun kiss i have the maybelline fit me tinted moisturizer in this shade 368 so there is that next up i have these essence lash princess mascaras this one is the false false lash effect and then this one is the volume mascara next up we have these retractable eyeliners from nyx in the shade what shade are you golden olive and aqua green also i have the eye prep eye prime eyeshadow primer from juvia's place in the shade number two this is specifica spf 55 c and c sheer face serum vitamin c and c minerals plus spf protection and then also i picked up this spf 45 set and protect matte sheer setting mist setting mist setting mist um 100 vegan and cruelty free for those of you who do not know i have been falling in love with cara beauty ever since i first tried them which means anytime i see cara beauty anywhere now i have to buy something from it this is the poetry of love issue one this is what it looks like it's like a complete all-in-one eye and face palette and then you have the make a statement issue three this is this eyeshadow palette first of all beautiful full queen on the front both ladies are beautiful let's give it up to them but i don't know something about her voluminous hair and just the this this the eye look for sure y'all see that eye look i'm gonna try to recreate that um and this is the colorful eyeshadow palette i have seven items from two brands that i was not expecting to see in the clearance section i was expecting to see them at target because they are showcased at target now but i picked up three lip items from the lip bar so i got this clear lip gloss in the shade minimalist it's literally just a clear lip gloss you cannot go wrong with clear lip glosses especially when they're on sale for 219 and original price was 14 bucks vegan liquid matte that's what this one is called in the shade savage so that is that um original price is 12.99 i got it for 289 vegan liquid matte in the shade low key Original price $12.99, I got it again for $2.89. So that is that shade. Next up, another thing that I was actually shocked to find on the clearance in the clearance aisle is the new Beauty Bakery. They're like mini collection, which I forgot. Beauty Bakery Bite Size. So I picked up the Smackaroons Bronzer. That is that one. Originally $12, I got it for $3. I don't know why they're on sale like this already and like beauty bakery just went to target not that long ago and then i also pick up the smackaroons blush once again i cannot see the shade because it's covered by the sticker looks like a pretty terracotta type color i'm not out of it but 
This was 12 bucks, got it for three bucks. Also, I picked up the Rainbow Marshmallows Bite Size Eyeshadow Palette, 14 bucks, I got it for four bucks. This is the Beauty Bakery Bite Size Pinch of Flower Setting Powder in the shade Cassava, which is the yellow one. Originally $12, I got it for $3. These are the newer shades of one of my favorite lip glosses, and this is just a re-pick up of one of my, my absolute favorite shades. These are the new butter gloss shades. This is the shade Caramel as well as lava cake beautiful shades Let, let's bring it home if you know your girl i finally saw these items in store and i was just like what how why i'm buying the whole collection where's the cutout where's the the pop-up stand whatever i need everything ladies and gentlemen we have the maybelline x marvel collaboration bing, 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 bing guys i finally found it in store so with this collection for the mascara they did the colossal mascara which is one of their most famous mascaras and with this one they put the captain marvel logo on the mascara it is a gold container it's a gold tube with the marvel maybelline logo on it we have the instant age rewind concealer and I have it in the shade 146 tan, and then I also have it in 149 deep bronze. You can get almost anybody's faces on any of the shades. So it's not specifically like the darker shades are gonna have the Black Panther, or the lighter shades are gonna have like Black Widow or whatever. Like all the characters are mixed and matched on all the shades. So you just have to figure out which one you wanna get. And because I do actually love this concealer a lot, um, I have the shade Hazelnut and your girl is running on E, and this is my second one. <laughs> I was like, well, I might as well grab the marble ones while I'm at it, and I grabbed two shades. Um, hopefully the 146 will be a little bit more of a brightening one when I wanna go brighter. And I'm hoping that deep bronze is close to hazelnut because these are newer numbers. The numbers don't match up with the hazelnut number that I was used to. But anyways, I got Black Panther and Iron Man on mine, so. Yes, I was happy to at least get Black Panther on something, so I'm really happy. I said I wasn't gonna get it at first, but I have to remember, Spider-Man and Marvel are my life. I don't like the Tom Holland annoying teenage kid Spider-Man, but I grew up loving basically all the Spider-Man animated shows. Spider-Man and Friends, the amazing Spider-Man. I grew up loving all of them. So I cannot stop loving spider-man completely i still got the spider-man and so now i have the spider-man red and that is in the shade 20 which is called pioneer and then i have the black panther in the shade 112 composer and these are actually on like these are the faces so these faces don't change regardless of which color you pick up. Like, so Black Panther is 112 Composer. Spider-Man is shade 20 Pioneer. This is Captain Marvel. She is the shade 80 Ruler. Black Widow shade, she is the shade number 15 Lover. And then the last one that I have is, first of all, my most beautiful shade that I could possibly pick up because just, just look at it, it's a beautiful caramel. This is the shade 75 Fighter which is Iron Man. The best way to see or know if you're picking up a Marvel one, off the top is all of them off the top, <laughs> because I'm talking about the tops. Oh, look at me. All the tops have silver. So if you're literally just like quickly looking through the Maybelline lip collection to see if you can find any of these, look for the silver top. Um, and when it comes to these, look for the silver packaging. Um, including for the mascara. So if you look for the silver packaging or the silver tops, those are the marble ones. So I'm happy that I finally, finally, finally got my hands on these and I cannot wait to swatch these and use these and all that good stuff. So yay. And then I also picked up this shade in the shade Amazonian because look how pretty that shade is as well. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here. Trying that is everything. That is everything I have hauled in the past three months. That's it, I'm done until August. But anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you guys do not know who I am, once again, I am your girl, Jay Ross. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Follow your girl on Instagram. I know I'm talking fast, but like I said, my camera's about to cut off and I at least want to do my sign out. I love you guys so much. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. I will see you guys in my next one. Love you guys. Peace.